Hi guys, Dave Wilson here again. Now today I want to talk to you about needle files. Now these are a pair that I got off my local market. They were a few pounds and they're probably made in India or China. But what I want to show you today are these. Uh, these are Valorb Swiss made needle files. Now as you might expect these cost a few pounds more. So this begs the question, is there a difference? Well, I'm here today to tell you, yes, there is a difference. Come with me, let me explain. Valorb have been making files for over a century, right in the heart of the watch and clock industry in Switzerland. And over this time, they've become world renowned for quality and precision. And once you take a closer look at these files, you can instantly see this Swiss quality. Just look at how fine the engraving is on the ends of this one, how crisp the knurling is. It's precise, even, and it helps give a superb grip in your fingers. In comparison, if I show you this cheap Chinese file, you can instantly see the difference. Look at the ends too. The Valorb one has been machined and rounded with perfect attention to detail. But in comparison, if you look at the cheap foreign made one, it looks like it's been cut with a pair of bolt cutters or something. So hopefully you can start to understand why Valorb are regarded as the best files in the world. The set I've got here is supplied by Eternal Tools. Now they offer three sets, cut to coarse, uh, a cut for fine, uh, which is one I've got here. They also have a cut six, very fine. Uh, I should also mention that with the coarse set, you get a half round file, but with the fine and very fine sets, you get a crossing file instead. And I'll show you what that is in a second. Each set comes in a plastic wallet uh, with six needle files. Each file is 160 millimeters long, 16 centimeters, and the cutting surfaces are about 80 millimeter, eight centimeters. The handles are just over three millimeter diameter. And as I mentioned, this is a number four fine cut set. So this has 56 teeth per centimeter. So let's take a close look at them. First of all, we've got the flat, or what's referred to as the pillar file. This is a flat, wide, rectangular cross-section file, the same dimensions all the way along. In this case, it's about 5.6mm wide. Teeth on all four sides, cutting down towards the tip. And this is a great general purpose file for working on flat surfaces, filing the ends of wire. Absolutely essential piece of kit here. Similarly, we have the square file, Again, with teeth on all four sides cutting towards the tip, but in this case, the square file is tapered. So it goes from about 2.6mm square, tapering gradually down to a fine sharp point. So this gives you the advantage of 90 degree handles, great for filing in corners or up against posts. You've also got the very fine point, and you've also got the corners. So very, very useful file is that. Moving on. We've got the triangular file. Now, Valor refer this as a three square. That's because the sides are all the same handle. They make a range of different triangular shaped files. So because this is equal, they call it a three square. Like the square file, it's also tapered to a fine point. So this gives you the advantage of the flat sides, the nice sharp edges, and this is great for filing grooves. You know when you make a mark to bend a sheet? Great for that. Now, if you've ever wondered why they're called needle files, then you just need to look at this round file here. It's fairly obvious. This is about 2.9 mil diameter with a circular cross section, and the teeth are all the way around it, 360 degrees, cutting towards the tip. And as you can see in the close-up, the teeth really do go to the tip. And this is great for getting into tight, intricate areas like inside jump rings or inside clasps. Because this is round, do be careful of it rolling off your bench. If it hits the herd floor, it could get damaged. Now, as mentioned, this set also contains the crossing file. So, unlike the other sets with the half round, this is actually more of an oval shape with sharp edges. Again, it tapers to a fine point, And these were originally designed for filing crossings which are the spokes inside clock gears so this curved shape is perfect for the inside of rings and for the inside of small curved shapes absolute little gem this one now finally a little bit unusual this is called a barrette file which comes from the french meaning barrette 
or literally a small burr. It's got a triangular cross section, but you'll notice the back has no teeth. So because the back has no teeth, there's no danger of filing any other surfaces. So what this means is you can get right up to an edge without any danger of murking it. Perfect for cleaning up solder joints on flat surfaces or for getting into really tight little corners without any danger of filing the wrong side. Hence you might also see these referred to as a safety back file because the back is safe because there's no teeth on it. Now all these files are quite fine and delicate so do treat them with care. Don't let them roll off your desk and drop onto a hard floor. Likewise don't bend them or overstrain them. If the teeth get clogged, just use a dry toothbrush or a stiff paintbrush to clean them. Don't use big wire brushes or file cards, probably a bit vicious. Keep them dry, look after them and they will prove to be a great investment for many years to come. So, uh, there you have it. It's a great assortment of needle files for every possible use. And you know very well that anything Swiss made, you know it's going to be great quality. And if you don't believe me, just try the chocolate. <laughs> I've been Dave Wilson. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Bye for now.